Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am in the kitchen today and I am getting around to cooking this shrimp and grits. So let's get busy. Now y'all, I have never cooked these before, nor have I ever eaten them. <laughs> so uh, this is a very first for me and I am really excited about it and looking forward to it. So what we're gonna do is start the grits. I'm gonna cook them first and get them out of the way. So we need three cups of chicken broth. I've never cooked grits in chicken broth, so I am anxious to taste of them. I know they're going to be delicious. So this is the third cup, and I'm definitely gonna be freezing the rest of this big old can of chicken broth. Okay, so we got the grits started. And then what you want to do is use um, quick grits. So I have the Jim Dandy quick five minute grits. Not instant grits, just the quick grits. And as soon as the water comes to a boil, we're going to add one cup of the quick grits. We will add the butter and the cheese and then we'll just cover them up and just let them sit there while I cook the, the shrimp. So with the shrimp, I'm using 18 shrimp, but you can use a pound or two pounds, whatever. These are big shrimp, so I don't need a lot. And I'm going to fry up some bacon. This is about a half a pound. I really don't think I need this much, so I'm not going to use the entire half a pound. I always cut my bacon slices in half. You want to add your bacon to a cold skillet because if you add it to a hot skillet, you are going to get burned. It will pop, it will attack you. <laughs> the hardest part about this is not cooking it. <laughs> it's getting everything prepared ahead of time. And these are the shrimp. Like I said, I think I counted out 18. They were already deveined in, in the bag, but they, there's another vein underneath the bottom, which I always remove too. I'm gonna pause you because I need to turn the vent on. Okay, so the chicken broth is boiling and I am burning the bacon, y'all. <laughs> it looks like it's cooking unevenly. That's really strange for a cast iron skillet, isn't it? I did put a few drops of olive oil in there because it just wasn't making enough, uh, enough fat. It's okay, I don't mind burned pork products, but let me take that one out, it's very burned. I gotta get my grits in there. All the chicken broth is gonna boil away. I think this one is done enough too. Okay, let's add the grits. And we're going to stir them very frequently and turn the burner down on low. It says cook them five minutes, but I usually cook them longer than five minutes. It's not going to hurt. They're not going to turn starchy or, or gummy or anything. Simmer slowly. Okay. Probably gonna have to go ahead and get this bacon out of here because I am burning it. Y'all ever I cook bacon nearly every day of my life and have my entire life. And it's like it's different every morning. I can never get it to turn out the same. And the same with my egg. I like my yolk cooked a certain way. I like it still runny, but I like all the white cooked around it. And I'll be if it doesn't turn out some weird way every morning, too. My sister Angela, when she cooks an egg, the way that she breaks it, it's the yolk is perfectly in the center of the egg every time. Jill used to always love to get her Aunt Angie to cook her a perfect egg. <laughs> okay, let me keep stirring these. Like I said, I don't want them to plump. Going to turn the burner all the way down on low. It's already got a few clumps in it. I think what I did, I poured them in too quickly. Okay, so now we are ready to put in our shrimp, but I think I want a little more grease. Yeah, I do. Listen, you can hear the, the grits cooking. <laughs> I have it on low and it's still cooking up a storm here. My pepper shaker's almost empty, so I have the big hole opened up. Okay, let me go ahead and throw in my 
onions, let them start browning a little bit. I like to always, this is one half of a medium onion. Okay, so I'm going to throw in the one fourth stick of butter. We'll let it melt and then we'll throw in the two cups of shredded cheddar cheese. And I bought this Mrs. Dash the other day. I'm trying to cut down on my salt intake, so let's give that a little bit of a try and then in the grits. Okay, let's let these cook for just a few seconds, not even a minute. Some of y'all have asked me when do I know when the shrimp is done. You cook it approximately two minutes on each side. The garlic in now or the shrimp? Okay, I'll add the garlic. It's probably not going to take it much longer than four minutes to cook. Too, so I'm going to put the shrimp in in a second. But let me get these grits stirred up, and then we're going to put the cheese in. I think I needed a bigger pot, y'all. Okay, this is two cups shredded cheddar cheese. And you mainly just cover this now. Just let it sit here and stay warm. I'm, I'm going to turn the burner off because I don't want them to get any thicker than they already are. Okay, let's get the shrimp into the skillet. Two, three, four, five. Okay. Look out where I put them. Like I said, about two minutes on each side. These onions and garlic are going to season up this shrimp very nicely. So we got the garlic in there, and I'm going to add um, the Cajun seasoning. This is the Tony Chassery's Cajun seasoning. It's a half a teaspoon. Get that shrimp seasoned up really good. Then I'm going to add the Mrs. Dash. Just a half a teaspoon of that also. And then I forgot to get our little paprika, but I think we'll add some paprika into it too. Okay, so the shrimp have cooked on one side for two minutes. Okay, so we're going to flip them over. Let them cook on the other side for two minutes. large shrimp so it probably wouldn't hurt if I cook them the whole five minutes that I had on the top. Now if you like your shrimp really brown um, then just you know put them in the skillet have your skillet hot when you put them in and um, then they'll get nice and brown. Okay to this I'm going to add um, some lean herons and we want to add a half of a lemon Is cook until the time is up. And we have all of our seasoning here for the, the grits. Mmm, sure smells good. Got Lee and Perrins and ooh, ooh. Mrs. Dash and the on the chest, is it all oh, so good, y'all? Okay, I'm just going to add a little dab of butter to it. Just because butter, butter makes everything better, right? Okay, these are cooked five minutes. 
Let's uh, turn that fire off. Don't these shrimp look good, y'all? What we want to do is break up the bacon into little pieces. Then we will sprinkle this on top of the bubble grits. Y'all hear that ice cream truck? It's so annoying. But it's necessary. I mean, they have to alert the kids and the adults that they're on their way. They're here. The ice cream is here. Yeah, when you eat food in New Orleans, um, you can order a lot of it black, and then what it is, it's just the butter burned. But it sure adds some delicious flavor to your food. Okay, these have really cooked longer than what I should have cooked them, but like I said, they're large shrimp, so I think they're, I don't think they're gonna be gummy. Grits in the bowl, and then the shrimp on top of the grits. Now look at these, how delicious. They turned out really smooth. You just got to stir. That's one thing my daddy taught me. The secret to grits is stir, stir, stir. <laughs> That's a lot of grits. <laughs> I'm hungry. I could probably eat them then. Sprinkle these on. Okay, let's go ahead and give these on. Um, shrimp and grits a taste and let me see how I did on my very first time of making Cajun shrimp and grits. The bowl's kind of hot so I'll have to wrap my rag around it to lift it. Here we go. <gasps> Can't wait to taste some. They are hot. Oh, lost a gob of grits. These are really good, y'all. Oh, these shrimp are so good, and that little bit of garlic and onion really adds to the flavor. This is such a delicious dish. I hope y'all will try it, and leave me a comment and let me know if you try it. I will leave the recipe in the description below, and I'll also link you to the, um, the channel where I got the recipe. The, the guy's name is Ralph the Baker, and he is... 100% Cajun, let me tell you. He's got that Cajun accent and everything. He's an excellent cook. Mm. Okay. There's nothing else I can say about it. It's delicious, so um, let me swallow it. <laughs> Y'all, please give me a thumbs up. It means a lot to me, and the more thumbs up I get, the more likes I get. If I get a thousand likes, then YouTube will um, suggest my video to more people. So y'all, please give me a thumbs up and share if you know of anybody that you think would like this recipe. And please subscribe if you haven't done so already. 
and you just keep on coming back.